Hello everyone, welcome to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. If it is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you like what we do on this channel, hit on the subscribe button. Also put on the notification bell so you'll be notified by YouTube anytime we drop a new video. And if you are returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch our videos. On this platform, we drop videos every day and we react to every video that come our way. And on this very video, I will be watching with you. And after watching, let's go to the comment section and drop our opinion constructively. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. See you next time in my next video. The country is overwhelmed already with insecurity. And actually what the governor said, if care is not taken, we will drive into doom very soon. If we continue like this, we are driving into doom. Because the citizen, the youth cannot get job. Look at social vices. Human beings are beheaded anyhow. Human, they are killing without mercy, no rumors. How can people be doing like that? What kind of thought do they have in mind? It's amazing. The youth now under 17, 18, 19 are ritualists, killing people, killing their girlfriend. Where is the quest for this money come from? How come they are running the race that nobody pursued them? I don't know where this moral came from. I think the religious leader also has a part to play by coming to tell the people uh, one of the funniest things is that these people are not even entering church or mosque. So how would they get this advice? So that is why you come down, boil down to the government to do a sensitized, maybe orientation. Maybe if you can establish another department of government uh, information system to get down to the root, to these guys. And the security within the, the Nigerian police and the Choja has to wake up so that they go into Hitatu and fish out this kind of people. You know, how can we be overrun by insecurity in this country? It's, it's uncalled for. Nigeria know what is happening. If they don't know what is happening, it's in this country I see when somebody say that you will make your government ungovernable. Is it not this country? What have done about that uh, statement in this country? And uh, now it's time of Boko Haram. All these things that have been happening, Nigeria is aware of it. Both the Nigerian soldiers killed, both the Nigerian soldier that uh, is packed and the Nigerian soldiers killed, Nigerian soldiers seized if mistake. It's not in this country. Now, Zuno have said that uh, if Nigeria is not take time, that something may happen. But we know the person that said it. Why can't we ask that person what is happening? So Nigeria know what is happening to them. If Nigeria as a nation wanted to stop what is happening, they will do it. It's very simple. They know what is happening, but they fail to tackle it. They know their problem. It's a very simple something. If Nigeria wanted to take precaution over themselves, it's very, very simple. The people on top know what is happening as today. And if they want to stop it, if they want even to stop the Boko Haram today, it will stop automatically. Boko Haram is moving without um, without jet fighter. Boko Haram is moving without helicopter. Boko Haram is just a land uh, soldiers, uh, maybe a, a trained soldiers or non-trained soldiers. But we have a, we have uh, air fighters. We have jet we bought from America, from uh, Russia. But we cannot make use of it. Even the Boko Haram, we cannot even uh, tag them the name they're supposed to be. That means we know what is happening. Everything the government says is yet a claim about their efforts to curb the insecurity in the country. From what we had in the last regime and what we are having now, it has actually become worse. And all these news that are now coming up, we've had similar things in the past, and the government couldn't do much about it. So the trust is broken between the government and the people. So, uh, well, we just keep our fingers crossed, and um, everybody is fighting to see how they can secure themselves. 
avoid danger zones as much as possible. And we hope that the coming regime will do better. But for this regime, it is over. There's not so much that they can do anymore. Eight years or seven years plus, they've not achieved their aim. So it's a pity. If uh, this situation continues like this, I don't think either we, the citizens of Nigeria, will enjoy this country. And uh, my only advice is that uh, the federal government has to take uh, adequate measure by looking into what is happening. That is by providing the necessary machineries that all the forces in Nigeria can be able to use so that all the Nigerian citizens will be in a good uh, condition. Thank you. ISWAP is actually a more formidable terrorist group. They are more connected. They are actually global. So if Boko Haram that is local could wreck this much havoc, you can't tell what ISWAP will do. They can actually take over the whole Africa if they are not caught. It's simple. Yeah, he's right. He's just telling the government to watch out. The red flags are there. So the government, this is the time to nip it in the board. So if we don't do it now, later we want to deploy the whole armory. We want to call the UN and everybody. So that will be late. This is the time to actually do the best we can do to prevent it. Prevention is better than cure, like we all say. So that's what can work. Nigeria is facing serious problems ranging from economic and uh, security challenges. With the economic, I would have said, I am faulting the federal government on the side of their fiscal policy. That is the interest of government in high revenue generation, that is transaction. That has bring inflection to the economic there by uh, resulting to serious hardship. And on the side of the security challenges, actually the federal government are trying all their best and the security agencies are also trying all their best. But the problem, uh, but the fact remains that the high rate of unemployment has also affected the security challenges that we are facing today in the country. So the security challenges that we are facing, it has a correlation with the economic challenges, with the economic realities that we are facing today. And I dare mean, if the government would make a serious, uh, would make a serious effort in addressing economic challenges, then definitely it will make a serious Im uh, impact on the security situation. Yeah, by making the security uh, situation to calm down. What is happening in the country as is a result of bad leadership, incompetency in the part of uh, government, or insincerity? The problem of Nigeria is as a result of the leader not having the interests of the people at heart. The only thing about what they themselves can gain, generation yet unborn can gain, they are not having the interests of the immediate generation. So far they have food for their family, so far they have money for their family, they don't care about all that. That's the result of what is happening. And then people now result in self-help doing all sort of things, killing, uh, kidnapping, all what, in order to, to be able to, to, to survive, which is a wrong decision. And it's a result of the failure in the part of government that lead to the, to the, the uh, society being what it is today. So if the government have the willpower and the intention, good intention, the love for the people, I believe Nigeria can be a better place. Nigerians have the resources, Nigerians have the uh, human capital, Nigerians have all what it takes to be a great country. But the problem is the administrators of the resources is the problem of Nigeria. So if we have good people who come out to say, oh, I will offer the solution to the problem of Nigeria, but those good people will not be given opportunity to actually offer the, the solution. So when once we have or we are campaigning, we should look for people who have the interests of Nigeria at heart, who have the interests, not only their family interests, not only their relative interests, but the interests of others. That life is live, let's live. A tree cannot form a forest. I need you, you need me. If a, such a leader who has the interests of the masses at heart come to the position of authority, I think Nigeria can be a better place. So